How's it going everyone? It's uh, Rolling Cajun here and I haven't done a video in a long time so I apologize for that. I've just been real busy in real life and also I've been playing this game for about a month and a half, two months and I'm still trying to figure out what classes I like to play and all that stuff so um, I haven't had a whole lot of time to uh, do any videos and I wanted to get some more experience in the game so if I did make a video and then uh, do something stupid and give some wrong information so I'm going to make a video series of uh, all the different stuff that I've learned in the game, how to gear your character, the best way to level up, how to get your experience and all that. And this first guide is going to cover uh, leveling. All the different things you should be doing every day to get the most experience that you can get to try to get to level cap as quick as possible. Uh, so uh, I've started a new character. I'm going to go ahead and get through this little tutorial area. And then when I get out of the tutorial area, I may have a few things I want to talk about. So I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, so here we are out of the little tutorial area. I'm playing on the Steam version of the game. So you'll see here, once you get out of the little tutorial area, it'll tell you uh, how to how to control your character. You can use the uh, WASD uh, keys. Spaceboard to jump, and then you got all your uh, your other keys here. It tells you what your hot keys are, and you can go change these into settings if you don't like it like this. Well, you just hit your confirm button, and you collect your little gift here, and it's going to give you all this little package. And you can open it, open this package up anywhere from five to uh, ten levels uh, as you're going throughout the game. You're going to get to open this quite often, and it's going to give you all kind of nice stuff. This first one is going to give you a little mount pack. That's going to give you a random mount. Oh, I got the tiger. That's cool. That's a cool mount right there. Just open it up and hit the use button and hit the uh, get mount. And then you can summon your mount and get on it. Once you summon it the first time, every time your character goes and does something, it'll actually get on the mount for you automatically. Now, the first thing you want to do is just uh, go ahead and do your quest. Uh, clear your quest all the way until you get to level 16. I mean, you get to level 16, you're going to be doing some other things that's going to level you a lot faster than uh, questing. And you can always do the questing later, but I'm going to take you through that uh, here in a bit. So, um, another thing I wanted to mention is you get these free gifts for being logged in for a certain amount of time. And every day you get a, uh, uh, every day you get a daily login, uh, a daily login reward too. And you can get it from right here on this little notice here. You, uh, when it shows available, that means that there's something there that you can pick up. You just click this little notice button and you uh, go to online gifts and it'll show you these little orange things beside each one of these little tabs. Each one of these tabs has something that you can get from it. So first off, let's go through the daily reward. Um, uh, this is the first day I've logged into this character, so it, uh, I'm going to be looting this uh, silver here. And each day, there's going to be a different reward all the way to the last day of the month. Now, uh, if you come into the uh, game when uh, when the month's already about halfway through, like I am right now, it's June thirteenth. Uh, it's actually going to start giving me two two of these per day until it catches me up to where the uh, where everyone else is. So if you if you happen to log in, and you get two gifts. It's not because uh, it's counting two days. It's just trying to get you caught up to everyone else so that you can get all the rewards for that month. So that's one cool thing about this game. Now we're going to go to the seven day login. This only works for seven days. Once you uh, once you log in for seven days, you'll get all these rewards, and then you won't get them ever again on this character. And then this hero gathering one is a, actually an event that's going on at the current uh, point in time, and it gives you these chests, and you get these chests also from leveling up, on, uh, not from leveling up, but doing dungeons, doing different content. And you can't open any of these chests until uh, the middle of July, about another month from now. So we won't even worry about those right now. And then this online gift pack, this is the one I was telling you about just earlier. Uh, logged in for 5 minutes, 15, all the way up to 2 hours, you get gifts and all that as you uh, as you logged in. So make sure you at least log in for 2 hours every day and do content so you can get all these rewards. You want to at least be, do, even if you just AFK it. And this top up one, you just click on that and don't worry about that unless you're going to cash shop. And then uh, other than that, it's going to take you through a little tutorial. It's going to kind of tell you how to do things. Like right now, it's telling me to enter the guide here. And it wants me to upgrade my skills because my skills are level 1 and I'm like level 4, I believe. No, 6 right now. That's one thing that you want to make sure you do. Every time you level up, come in here and auto uh, auto upgrade your skills all the way to level 45. You want to do that as often as possible because it's going to make you stronger as you're going through the game. You want to be able to kill stuff faster. Okay, so I want to cover something real quick while I'm uh, doing this. Um, I wanted to wait till level 16 to uh, bring the uh, start making more stuff on the video, but I, I ran into something I want to explain real quick. 
Uh, first of all, whenever you replace your gear and you have gear in your bag, you don't have anything to do with it. You just dismantle the gear. And uh, this beginner gear only gives uh, silver. But later on, whenever you disable, uh, dismantle a piece of gear, it'll actually give you some runes uh, that you'll use later for um, for upgrading your, uh, some of your skills and stuff. And also, whenever you open these packs right here, uh, every once in a while, you're going to get some of these uh, purple uh, ray stones. Now, this purple ray stones are really good uh, gem. On behalf but, of um, mother, we thank you. Starry Flower is a key honestly, the potential potion. Uh, there, when you reach level 45, or actually before you reach level 45, you're going to start getting level 40 plus gear. And you'll be able to put level 40 runes in your gear. And this, this little purple level 20 will actually give you enough silver to buy two level 40 blues. Which is better, which has more stats than this anyway. So you get two, two gems for the same price as this one. So... What I suggest, since you're going to have a big issue with uh, upgrading your skills, because they require a lot of silver, uh, breaking the, dismantling these um, these gems will give you a ton of silver, and it'll help you later whenever you're upgrading your skills, because you need to auto-upgrade all your skills to level 45, and it's going to require a ton of silver. And if you don't dismantle some of these little purple gems, you won't have enough silver. You're going to run out, and it's going to take you a while to get your skills up. So I just wanted to mention that real quick because that's something that I learned as I was making new characters that if I break those down, I can actually upgrade my skills faster and I can buy two gems for the price of the same one. Mother okay, so uh, the first thing I want to mention real quick is you get a um, you get a random mount at level um, 4, I believe, as soon as you get out of the tutorial area. And then when you turn about level 8 or so, you're going to get another mount uh, that's called a Hawkbill. And if you decide that you would rather uh, ride that mountain than this one, if you go here to your little arrow and you go to your archives right here at the bottom, uh, you can find all your mounts in here underneath the mount tab. Just click on the mount tab here and the ones that you own are going to be the ones up here at the top. Anything that says uncollected, you don't have it yet. But that's how you can uh, summon the other mount. Once you summon this mount one time, Anytime your uh, character needs to summon a mount, it'll auto-summon that one, whatever the last mount that you had summoned. So I wanted to mention that real quick. And also, I just turned level 10, and it's trying to get me to go into this one little low-level dungeon. And uh, I don't want to do that because here in about an hour, I'm going to be level 35 or higher. And I'll, I'll show you something real quick. These are the four dungeons that, you, uh, that you're going to have available to you. At level 30, this goblin camp's going to unlock for me. Each one of these dungeons gives more experience as you go down the list. So Goblin Camp gives you the most experience and the most path experience that you're going to need for upgrading your skills and uh, and all that later. So you, you don't want to do these other dungeons until you've done enough of these uh, Goblin Camps to, uh, to, to use up all your XP per day. And you, you can see that by clicking on this little eye right here. And it'll tell you right here that you can receive full experience, talent experience, item rewards for, for the first three normal dungeons per day. So you can only get ex experience and, uh, and gear from three dungeons. So what you want to do when you get to level 30 is you want to do three goblin camps. You, only, you don't even want to do these other dungeons at all. You just do the goblin camps because they're going to give you more experience and more path experience. And then, you're gonna, uh, uh, then it drops you, your gear pieces and stuff too. So that's why I don't want to go to the Scar Plains. I just unlocked it, and it wants you to go try the dungeons out. I guess it's trying to uh, introduce you into the uh, the dungeons and raids and stuff, but you don't want to do that. Uh, wait till you're level 30 and go do your three goblin camps, and you'll get more experience for it. And you don't so don't waste that. So what you gonna what you can do is since this uh, little tutorial thing will not go away until you go sign up for it, what I do is I'll go here to Quick Team. I'll go to the raid, and then I'll go to Scar Plains. Everywhere it tells me to, and then I hit auto match, and then I just cancel it. I hit it one more time and cancel it before it throws me into a party. And then now I could just close that out, and the tutorial's not messing with me anymore. Now, if you happen to hit the auto join button, and it throws you into a party real fast, that's okay, because you can just go ahead and leave. You just click on this little, this little flag over here. The first one up here is your uh, is your quest, and then the bottom down here is your party. You click on that one time, and you hit the leave button. It'll be right here where the quick quick join is, or where the quick team is. You just hit the leave button and, and, and get out of that dungeon, and just go back to questing. 
I just wanted to mention that because you don't want to if you if you know you're going to be playing for at least one more hour then uh then don't go to that dungeon because otherwise you're going to get less experience later if you if you go to that dungeon all righty so here we are as soon as you turn level 16 you got a, your uh, little horn up here your adventure uh your adventures are going to uh, tell you that you have unlocked uh the trial quest now, these are the set of quests that you can do. It's 20 different sets of quests. Uh, that gives a ton of experience. And uh, a lot of path experience. It gives some silver and some gold and, and some uh, some random uh, gem drops. And uh, you could even get uh, random gear drops from doing this also. This is your number one experience uh, gainer that you can do uh, every day. This is the first thing you should do as soon as you get online. Uh, get this over with. You can hit this little go button and uh, automatically join the party by just hitting this uh, auto match button here. And it threw me straight into a party. And it looks like these guys are already doing it. Hopefully they're not AFK. Yep, they are uh, doing the trial quest. This is some really fun quests. You just uh, follow the leader here. Your character auto follow and auto attack. And you just sit here and you gain a bunch of experience. When I get done with all 20 of these quests, I should be about level 35 or 36. That's how much experience these give. And then uh, after I get done with these uh, trials, I'll get back with you again. And uh, and I'll tell you what we need to do next. But that's how you do it. Just go to the adventure tab here. Make sure you're under events. Daily events. Click the go button here on the uh, trial quest. And just hit the auto join button and it'll throw you right in the party. Or it might take a little while. Depending on the time of day, it may take you a little bit in order to get the uh, to get your party for this. But I'll see you guys again here in a bit. Okay, so I just turned level 20, and one of the things the tutorial wants to uh, teach you is about auto uh, auto attack. And it's this little uh, looks like a little computer screen right here, and you click it to turn it on. And it'll actually uh, follow your party. Like if you get lost or something on accident. Like if you'll see this following down here at the bottom. And if I click the screen on accident. It'll actually stop following them. And sometimes my, I lose my party if I don't watch what I'm doing. And if, if you happen to notice this. And you don't see your party anymore. You just click this little button up here. And it'll auto follow your party. And if they're in a different part of the zone. Or another zone. It'll actually port to them. And uh, uh, when you're not inside of a party. If you turn this on, you'll actually auto-attack uh, mobs that are close to you. If there are any close to you, uh, you'll attack them. And there's actually so, uh, certain things that you can get. Maybe I'll explain in another video for the, uh, for doing that. You don't get experience for killing mobs. You get other things. Alrighty, so here we are. Um, just finished the trials. And I'm level 35. So that goes to show you how much experience you get from doing these uh, trial quests. I started at level 16 and now I'm 35 just from doing uh, 20, 20 quests. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and upgrade my skills. I notice that some of my skills aren't upgraded like this bottom one here. and I need to max them all out and auto upgrade them all. And at level 35, you want to go ahead and upgrade your... Uh, your special skill here which is my elemental matrix you can only upgrade it one time at level 35 and I, I believe at 55 or something when you get all your other skills to level 55 you can upgrade it again but that's gonna be a really long time from now but make sure you go ahead and upgrade your uh, your special skill too and also make sure you choose a path that you want to uh, take um, I would suggest doing a lot of research on YouTube to figure out what uh, what path you would like to take I chose this uh, purple one. I think that's what a lot of people are playing on Elementalist. And uh, I read through the um, I read through the path here, and it looks like a good path to take. I don't know much about Elementalist, but this is the one I took. I will go over a little bit uh, more in depth uh, video of uh, paths and uh, what you should be doing with your path and all that later. But I'm, I'm gonna leave it for right now. Also, I want to mention: um, make sure that you don't ever use your uh, your your player experience to upgrade your path if it pops up a box here in the middle of the screen and then ask you if you want to use uh, experience uh, to turn into path experience do not do that because you want to rush to 55 as fast as you can and if you use your player experience then you're gonna uh, slow your uh, progression down to 55 
So get to level 55 first, and when you get to level 55, you're going to get a 300% bonus to your path experience. So the faster you can get to 55, the faster you can get your path up. And you're going to be leveling your path, your path really, really fast when you get to 55. So get to 55 as soon as possible. Okay, so back to leveling. Um, the next thing that you can do for leveling is uh, what I mentioned earlier in the uh, video, uh, goblin camps. And you want to do three times three time goblin camps. And let me show you something real quick also. Every day you're going to get this uh, quest. It's called Offering 2. And uh, you're going to get a, uh, a quest for what's going to be a, a medal. And in order to get it, you need, uh, you're need you going to need two different tasks that you got to do. Uh, for, for today, it's going to change every day. We need uh, Manta's uh, skill and we need uh, Mesh's horn. In order to find out which ones you, uh, which dungeons you need to do uh, to get these, you just look through them. Uh, we need Manta and Mesh. Uh, Mesh is going to be under Scar Plains, and then Manta is going to be under uh, Dire Galleon, as you see here, Captain Manta, and then uh, Mesh, uh, La Mesh is right here. So, but you don't want to do those first because if you do any of these two first, you're gonna not, you're not going to get as much experience as you would get as you, if you did the Goblin Camp. So what you do is you do three Goblin Camps, and you do one of each of those dungeons to complete the quest. You're not going to get anything for the other two, but uh, b besides the quest reward. So, and we call it 311s. You do three Goblin Camps and one of each of the dungeons to uh, complete the quest. So if you ever ever some, in a guild and somebody's like, All right, I got a party ready for 311s, this is what they're doing. So jump in it if you haven't done it for the day. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to do three Goblin Camps. I'm going to auto sign up. Hopefully I can find a party. Actually, I forgot to mention something. Uh, you get these lucky tickets every day. Uh, for being logged in for 90 minutes and you can uh, use these lucky tickets by just clicking on it and going to use and it takes you to this little lucky draw thing and you can draw and it's pretty much like a lottery you gotta win anything in this uh, around this little uh, square here a rectangle and um, but I don't want to use those just yet because I'm gonna be getting five of them when I open these boxes I forgot to open my boxes so we're gonna do that right now <clears throat> and I'm gonna get a whole bunch of stuff I'm going to open it all the way to level 35, and I'll explain all the stuff that you get in here. Alright, first of all, you're going to get a bunch of these little gray, uh, these little gray uh, letters, and all it does is just give you some silver, so open all those real quick. Okay, so back to here, back to this stuff. Let me finish opening this up, and you'll see here, oh, this is a uh, character rename scroll. You'll get one of these with every new character in case you... Just pick some weird name to try the game out and you decide you want to stay in the game and you want a, a better name you can use this rename card to change the name of your character and all these little uh, these little round looking things are um, are crafting stones uh, maybe I'll make a video later on that you can just throw those into uh, in the bank for, or your storage for right now uh, okay so you'll notice that I've got five more uh, lucky tickets I got seven of them the level 35 package gives you uh, five more of these uh, these tickets, so now I could do uh, seven draws on it instead of just two like I had earlier. And then we got a bunch more of these little ray stones, and I'm going to dismantle all of these. It's give me a whole bunch of gold. I got 9.5 mil uh, million silver now. And another thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to dis I'm going to disregard all of these uh, pots. Cause these pots are small and they're and they're crap and we're gonna buy the best ones we can from the from the item shop real quick so I'm gonna buy 25 of the these the blue ones and then 25 of the uh, medium uh, green ones these are much better pots than the ones that you had in your bag already so and you can disregard these small ones right here too you'll probably never use them Okay, so to use these, I'm going to go here, and since I have seven of them, I'm going to go ahead and do the draw five and see what we can win real quick. Trash. Oh, I want an awesome mount. Cool. Well, I want a raptor mount. Check him out. Yeah, buddy. I'll be using him. 
Uh, check that out. You get all kind of all kind of chances of winning free mounts and and uh, in boxes and stuff that you'll open in this game. And let me show you this real quick. Also, um, you get these items when you open up different things from the lucky draw. You got these dreamy roses and these uh, refractal crystals. Refractive crystals, I mean. Um, and if you want to find out how to use these, you can click on them and go to use, and it'll bring you to an NPC. And the NPC is going to require um, a certain amount of each of these items in order to trade for uh, certain certain things that it offers. So what I normally do is I just take them and I throw them inside the uh, in my storage. And whenever I get the correct amount that I need in order to trade, do you need I'll uh, come back. So you can buy an outfit with these if you have 80 of them, uh, and then uh, and then a headgear to go with it for 20, or you could buy this little perfume box. What I normally do is I'll buy the perfume boxes, or any box that the NPC sells that has uh, a chance to drop legendary equipment. Legendary equipment is the best equipment that you can get in the game. It's going to be your in-game gear, and it's going to be the gear that you're going to have on for a very, very long time. You're going to do a lot of upgrades to it. So uh, a chance to win in legendary equipment is really awesome because they're kind of expensive. It takes quite a bit of gold. You, it takes you a little while to save up in order to buy these. And if you have a chance that you can win these, and you should definitely take that chance. So what you do is you, each NPC that you go to when you are checking out what items it has, make sure you look at every, uh, every option it has and look for the one that, that gives a chance to drop legendary equipment because that's the one you want to buy. At least that's what I'm going to buy. So whenever I get one more of these roses, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come buy one of these boxes because if you read the description here, it says it has a uh, chance to drop legendary equipment. So that's the one I'm going to buy. And the same goes for the, uh, the re refractive uh, crystal. There's more than likely going to be a box. I haven't looked at these yet because these are brand new. They just gave it to us in, uh, not too long ago. And, uh, uh, but if it has a chance to drop a legend uh, box, I'm going to buy that one. But for right now, I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll these two tickets real quick. See if I can win anything cool. And then I'm just going to throw those in storage for right now. I don't know what that is, but that's a rare I just got. Oh, it's a star circle bag. No way. Why couldn't I have won this on one of my other characters? On my main character. No way. <clears throat> this is an in-game uh, star circle bag that I'll be able to trade for um, for one of the one of the star circles that you'll use for in-game things, and it gives you a bunch of stats here. But I'm not even going to cover that in this video. It's too much information. But that was pretty. That was a pretty awesome row. I can't believe I won that. But yeah, you can win all kind of stuff like that. I'm just going to throw that into storage too. I'll never use it on this character. It's pointless. Okay, so I wanted to mention something real quick. Sometimes it gets confusing on how many times you've done Goblin Camp if you AFK on some, or if you walk away from the computer, you don't know what what uh, how many times you've been into it because some of these parties are running it over and over again. So if you get confused how many you've actually done, you can actually tell if you go here to the Adventure tab. <clears throat> you look under this uh, daily activity here. As, as, as you're doing activities in the game, you get these free rewards. When you finish the trial quest, you'll unlock this first one that gives you some silver. And then whenever you do, you do your first dungeon, you'll unlock this second one, which is this gratitude chest. And then your th uh, second dungeon, I open up this uh, this one, uh, these magic stones here. And then your third one, I unlock the gold, gold quest. So once you get to this third one, then you know you've done your three dungeons and you can keep going on what you were doing. All right, so I've gotten really lucky. Um, this party that I'm in is actually doing 311s that I mentioned earlier. And I've already gotten all the gear that I can get uh, today. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this gear and put some gear on while I'm waiting on them to go to the last dungeon. I'm going to get rid of all these greens because I already know they're not going to be better than the blues that I picked up. Dismantle them. You'll see what we're getting these runes here. And these runes are going to be used to upgrade your uh, skills and your rune path underneath skills here. Your run upgrades, this is what you're going to use for them. 
So anytime you dismantle your gear, you're going to be getting these. So you'll be doing a lot of dismantling as you're uh, as you're leveling up and stuff. And even after you're not leveling up. Okay, so. Oh yeah, I wanted to explain real quick also. Whenever you're uh, putting your gear on, uh, green gear and blue gear, you just go off of whatever the score tells you. If the green, uh, it's got a green arrow on it, put it on. If it doesn't, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, just dismantle it. Now, it's going to be different when you get epic gear. When you get epic gear, you want to go off of your grade. The higher your grade, the better the gear is. Because on epic gear, you can reforge the stats on your uh, gear. And you can get the stats that your class needs by just reforging the stats. Now, you can't reforge anything that's uh, that's under epic. It has to be at least epic in order to uh, to upgrade. To, uh, to reforge the stats, I mean. So un until you uh, get to epics, you don't even need to worry about the grade. You just put on whatever the best score is. Whenever you get to epics, you grab the gra the highest grade, and then you can reforge the stats by going to reforge, and then you can keep rolling stats until you get the stats that you want. I wanted to mention that real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the one that has the highest score, and that's the ones I'm going to put on. This one has 204, and this one has uh, 150, so I'm going to put this one on. I don't see another chest that I can put on that's blue and out of these cloaks this one seems to be the best one the staff is better than what I had actually that one may be better let's see I'm actually going to choose this one. The reason why I'm going to choose this is because it comes with magic damage. It's a different stat. Even though this one says it's better, it comes with agility. That's not very useful this for this class. Spirit's pretty good for the class. Hit readiness is not good. Accuracy is not good for this class. So because I know that, I'm going to go for the one that gives the more magic damage because it's going to add to the magic damage of the, uh, the rest of it. So I'm going to put that one on. Though sometimes the rating is a little bit um, is off. It's not really counting for your class. It may be counting for all classes. So uh, you just have to look through everything to see whether or not the one that you pick is going to be better for you or not. Now, if you uh, go, you want to get rid of this stuff real fast, if you already look through the gear and you know you don't want it on, you don't want to have to click every one and go to dismantle, you can actually hit this group dismantle here. And you can go through and select all of these. everything that you want to get rid of and you can do it all at one time I didn't do this one because I knew it was a higher level and I, I'm a I could put it on later now what you do if you do it with your uh, your stones here is uh, on any class but a uh, tank class you don't need these blue ones let me go ahead and leave this party because they are done You don't need blue stones for any class besides a, uh, a tank. So if you're not playing a tank, you always just dismantle the blue ones. You want the uh, green ones, the uh, pink ones, the green ones, and the, uh, the yellow ones for magical classes. And then you want the red ones, the red, green, and yellow for uh, for the physical classes. So you just throw it anywhere, any slot that will take it. And we'll get into a gym video uh, a little bit later. I'll, I'll cover that. Some of the one of the uh, other things that you're going to get when you're doing your your dungeons, you're going to get these recipes. If they're not for your class, you can just go ahead and sell them in the cash shop or the trade shop, I should say. I always go for whatever is the lowest price or the next the next uh, highest from the low, like the second lowest price. And if it's for your class, you can keep them, and uh, there's a lot of good uh, crafting videos on uh, YouTube that you can watch if you want to learn more about crafting and stuff like that. But I'm not going to cover crafting because there's a lot of really good videos, and there's no point in me covering it also. Okay, so I'm done with my uh, with dungeon dailies. I went all the way to the 80 here, and then this uh, party uh, done Scar Plains and Dire Galleon for me. And you you can see if you're uh, finished with that by by looking at your uh, quest here, 
and it shows one out of one on both of these so I'm gonna go turn this in and this is gonna unlock the uh, activity 100 which is gonna unlock the last box that's uh, that's in that uh, event uh, the event log thing event tab or whatever you want to call it under your adventures <clears throat> So I complete the quest and it gives me two of these courage medals. Then if I go up here to adventure and events, it unlocks this last one. And then something else that uh, is going to happen is every day whenever you complete that hundredth uh, task, you can open up these little chests here and they give certain items that you can buy with the uh, crystals. Now some of these items, uh, every once in a while if it gives a uh, diamond gem, uh, it may be worth it if you have the gold to buy the diamond gem there in order to get a, a gem a little bit faster than crafting it with silver. And I may cover that in one of the other videos too. That's pretty much it on the uh, on the daily dungeons and, and trial quests. But then um, the other things that you can do is if you're a part of a guild, make sure you can do these guild weeklies. You can only do these once a week. They reset on Sundays. They give you these, um, these emblems here that you'll use to upgrade the skills inside of your path which is these skills inside here and you don't want to be worried about these until you get your path to level 50 first so uh, just save your emblems and put them in your storage for right now because you want you want to upgrade these skills until you get your main path here to level 50 and then you'll bring these up to 50 and you'll go one level at a time for everything but your, your guild weeklies will give you those and it'll also give you some experience and stuff and it gives your your guild some resources and then you can do the supply quest here there's a little quest where you go pick up some items and you uh, deliver them it's three different quests and it gives you a bunch of silver and other things and then you can do arena that's pretty much everything you can do for dailies and then there's also things that you can do that that are that reset at certain certain times of the week the first thing is going to be your heroics I reset on Mondays and Fridays and it'll be random on which ones are available. There's only going to be two heroics available. You'll see here that uh, Scar Plains has a go button that's uh, green. Dire Galeon is gray. Ancestry Altar is gray. And Goblin Camp is green. So the two that you can do at this current point in time is Goblin Camp and Scar Plains. And the heroics gives really good gear. And it also gives a lot of good experience. So you want to do those every time they're up. Every Monday and Friday they reset and you want to do those. And, and then uh, also you can go here to team raids and as you get up in these levels you're going to unlock all these raids on the left hand side at the current point in time I only have heroic I mean uh, normal mode uh, Fort Desolation unlocked and this is a weekly it can only be done at certain times from 1800 to 2400 server time so you only have four hours six hours to do this um, quest or this uh, raid so if you happen to be online for this, you want to do it. It gives really good gear also. It gives a uh, good experience. Not quite as good experience as Heroics, but it gives really good gear, and it's, it's a fun raid to do. You try to do your uh, your normal mode, try to do the Heroic mode, and try to do Ash Fort normal. Well, you won't be able to do Heroic for a really long time because it requires uh, a bunch of gear, and anything after that requires a bunch of gear too. So just focus on those three. Do Fort Desolation normal. Find a, find a raid for uh, Heroic and then do Ash Fort Normal. And that's the weekly uh, raids that you can do. I believe that pretty much covers everything uh, XP related. Other than crafting, you get a, a little bit of experience for crafting. But it's not enough to really even talk about or put in this guide. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, share the video if you think it'll help someone else and uh, if there's anything that I didn't cover please put it in the comments below and maybe I'll make another video and update uh, whatever I missed but I appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video